Hi, Robert Anthony here for Audio Tuts Plus. I've recently began using Studio One 2.5 in addition to Logic Pro in my studio. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the feature set inside of Studio One. One of the first things that I did when I started using Studio One was to figure out how to do the bread and butter things inside of the software. Things that I do almost every single time in a project that I'm working on. I want to show you how to do one of these, and that is how to set up for sidechain compression inside of Studio One. Like any DAW that you use, you'll need a sidechain source and a sidechain destination. That is, some kind of insert effect, such as a compressor or gate, and some sort of signal source to trigger the effect. I have a pad chord progression here that I want to add a classic sidechain compression effect to in order to give them a pumping feel. So, first thing we'll need is an effect that can accept the sidechain signal. The classic example being a compressor. I'll add a compressor insert effect to the channel strip, and you can see right here on the interface of the compressor, there is a button to enable sidechain compression. Enabling sidechaining will tell the compressor to trigger based on an outside signal source as opposed to the signal source of the material the compressor is on. Next, we need a sidechain source. Now, there's a lot of opinions on what you can use for a sidechain source signal. Typically, it would be a bass kick drum that you can then mute so as not to hear it, but it's still triggering the compressor. I personally choose to use a basic synth as my source. I'm going to set up a simple synth using the Mojito synth in Studio One as the sidechain source signal. You can use the amp ADSR to sculpt how the sidechain compression will sound. I personally like a hard pumping sound, so I'll set the attack and release to zero and the decay and sustain to 100%. Next, I'll create a MIDI loop and play a 1 16th note on every beat. This audio signal will now be used to trigger the compressor on the pad channel. To do this, all you have to do now is go here to the output channel that you want to use as a sidechain source signal, and below all the physical outputs of my interface here, you'll see the output group called sidechains. Hover over this output group, and it will twirl down showing you all the available destinations that can accept a sidechain signal. I only have one right now, but you can imagine if I had a lot of tracks and a lot of inserts that could accept sidechaining, it would be pretty confusing to find which one you want to send it to if you don't give your tracks descriptive names. You can see here that I've labeled the track pads, so I know this is the track I want to send it to. And the correct insert effect is in slot one, the compressor. Now, because I've used a synth as my sidechain source signal, I can actually come in here and change the dynamics of the sidechain compression by adjusting the settings of the synth.
So just that easily, you can add a sidechain compression effect to your tracks inside of Studio One. Now, it is a few steps to create this sidechain compression source signal. And if you use sidechain compression as much as I do, it can get pretty tedious to create over and over again. So what I've done is I've taken advantage of this dot music loop format inside of Studio One, and I've created a sidechain compression music loop that you can download via the link below this video. What this does is creates everything for you in one effortless move. If you drag it right into your sequencer, it creates a track called sidechain compression, adds the mojito synth with the settings I demonstrated here, and adds the MIDI loop. All you have to do now is assign the output of this track to a sidechain destination and you're good to go. I hope this shows you why I, as well as the collective internet, are really excited about Studio One and its host of great features and workflow enhancements. This is Robert Anthony for Audio Tuts Plus. Thanks for watching.